Okay, this week on iRod's Tips and Tricks, we look at keychain access. When you go into Safari and you go to a website that requires a username and password, such as this one, just click on login, enter your username, and enter your password, click login. And Safari asks you, would you like to save this password? You can say never, not now, or yes. We'll choose yes. This makes it easy, because you don't have to try and remember your username and password next time you come back to this site. So let's get out of here. Next time we go back to that same site again, just logged us straight in. We didn't have to enter our username or password, which can be very handy. Now we've logged right out. If we try and log back in again, it's automatically remembered all of our information. This is a really cool feature of the Mac. Sometimes your Mac can remember information you can't. For example, you might be using YouTube on your computer. But now you need the YouTube username and password to put into your iPhone. Let's click on YouTube. Let's sign in. Again, it automatically remembers my username and my password. But I can't remember what my password is. And it just shows it here as all asterisks, so I can't actually read it. I'm going to click off the page to bring up Finder and we can use the Go menu choice which we can go straight to our Applications or our Utilities folder which is inside the Applications folder and in here we'll find a cool little application called Keychain Access. Keychain, like you've got a house key and a car key, you put them all on your key ring or keychain. Keychain Access is where all your passwords are kept safely and securely. There's quite a few in here, so let's use search. You search for YouTube. Here it is, internet password. We double click on that, it brings up all of the information such as your account name. So if you forgot your account name, this is where to find it. Now, show password. Now, to keep it safe and secure, you have to enter your password in, which is for your account on your Mac. Nothing to do with YouTube. Just type in your normal um, Mac account password, and it will show you what your password is for this particular website. In this case, my YouTube password. So I now have all the information I need to put this uh, information into my iPhone to make the app work on my iPhone as well. Because my Mac remembered the information, but I couldn't. And that is keychain access.